I'm Chris. And I'm Bobby. And this is our van, Ivan. And this is a 2014 Mercedes Sprinter van. Okay, so on this side of the kitchen, um, we have obviously our sink, our faucet. This faucet comes out. So if you're outside and you just want to rinse your feet, you can swing it out, you can swing it in. Um, this is a really nice feature. A lot of vans have this, and I know why, because it is really convenient to have this and you can do all kinds of stuff with it. Um, we have a 27 gallon water tank in the back, so we get all our water. Um, we've never run out of water on the road. So we've got water here, water for a shower, and it's an awesome, uh, 27 gallons is a good number. So right over here in the kitchen, this was kind of a must have thing and, and Bobby designed this and made it happen, but this is our trash. So you just push this in, here's your trash, push it in, it's out of the way. Um, over here, we just have the cabinets under the sink and we have a tank down here for the gray water. So it holds, it's a holding tank for all the water that comes through the sink. And then we just store water bottles and some small propane tanks and things like that down there. And then moving down, again, you see these countertops. A lot of people think it's marble or some kind of you know hard surface counter, but this is literally wood underneath and it has the resin on top. So we love these counters. Just like in your house, you end up with kind of a junk drawer. <laughs> So, and then you only have a couple of pieces of silverware because it's just the two of you, right? So you have like two forks, two spoons, two knives, and then a couple extra in case you have friends come over. But usually everyone in a van shows up with their own cup and plate and fork. So we haven't really run into an issue with that, but it kind of ends up being a storage for batteries and koozies. And we have Yahtzee, we keep games in here to play and just random things like that. And then down here, People always ask us about a cooktop um, because we didn't install one in the counter. We just weren't really sold on you know, any certain kind of cooktop. So we have an induction cooktop and then we also have the gas um, burner and that one takes propane or butane. So we have that, you know, sometimes there's no sun and your power might get low. So we like having options to have two different cookers, um, two different ways to cook. So we keep these down here and we just pull them out when we cook and put them back in lock it up and we're ready to go so above the kitchen counter um, again this kind of ends up being a catch-all um, this is how much battery we have so we can open this up we can check the batteries see we're at 83 percent right now because we well we're in the shade but it's still going up so um, we actually have the battery hooked up to the alternator and so when we drive we get power um, the sun obviously we have solar panels so we get power from that and we're at 83 percent so if this were to get low you know we look at it and go oh that's pretty low right now we haven't been in the sun for quite a while um, or driven and then you can have an alternate way to cook food you know and not pull down your battery when we started building the van i wanted all like mountain ranges and things like that on the cabinets and um he was like building all this important stuff, right? Like cabinets and building the, you know, doing the solar and the electricity and the water and he's doing all that. And so he doesn't, you know, he doesn't have time to do this stuff, the cutesy stuff that I want. So he handed me the jigsaw and said, here's how you use it. Here's some wood, go to town. So I ended up cutting mountain ranges for all the cabinets. Okay, so this is something that I really wanted and it's a closet. And a lot of vans don't have this, but um, as you see, we stuff a lot of things in here, uh, mostly my jackets and clothes, and then two of Bobby's shirts. So um, most of his stuff is t-shirts. It can just go in the cabinet. Um, up here, we just keep our extra lights and hats. Down here is our shoe cabinet. So we keep all of our shoes in there. And moving back, so this, this right here, we consider this a bar. And we put these little racks up here for our wine glasses. So we have four just in case we have visitors. And up above, this is, um, usually we have this like all like kind of pretty with, it says love in the back and it's LED lights in here and all this, but we're on the road for 30 days right now. So this is our extra food storage, which makes a lot more sense than just decor, right? Uh, even though we do have an awesome pantry right here. So this is actually our pantry. So this is where we keep all of our food that we're gonna cook and things like that. Um, all of our rice, we have our ready-made rice so we can just make food in like two minutes. So right here is our refrigerator. 
and this is 3.3 cubic feet and it does hold a lot of stuff so we have it jam-packed right now because like i said we are on the road for 30 days so it has a little freezer up here and we just keep some ice packs and things to to add to our coolers because we do have, we actually have a backup cooler too just for water and stuff that we want to keep cold and then we put these little locks on here because one time we were driving and turned a corner and the fridge flew open and stuff went all over so we put this lock on here to make sure that doesn't happen anymore we chose van life because we wanted to be free um, when we first met um, i had decided to sell my house in florida and I had lived there for 30 years and I decided to sell everything, like everything in a house I'd been in for 30 years. So I got rid of everything, sold the house. It all happened in like three weeks. And I literally drove to California with only what fit in my Cadillac. So I had a car yeah. and drove to California. So I was like, I'm free. And we had just met before that. And so I'm like, I'm free. And then he's like, okay, I'm ready to be free. And so we were like getting ready to purge his house. And then um, we start shopping for vans. Well, before that, the goal really was to do international travel. And then with everything that happened in the world, that all got shut down. She had a job with Delta. Um, she was going to fly for Delta. We were going to use that to be able to do international travel and hang out. And then when that didn't happen, it was kind of we kind of had a shift in that. We still wanted to travel, but we just got hooked up and started watching these videos and looking at Instagram and seeing van life. And man, this is something that we would really like to do. So that's kind of the direction we went. Well, we started out in the back of his truck yeah so we would put chairs and a table we'd go park at the beach and we'd have this whole setup and we're like we're van lifers you know well, we're, we're like ready for a van lifers. and we're, it was like <laughs> prepping us we went camping in big bear and we took a tent and we're like okay we're like we're like prepping ourselves to be like out and being free like yeah. that and then yeah. he forgets the the pump or gets the wrong batteries or whatever for our for our air mattress so now we're like sleeping on the ground in an air mattress that has no air in it in a tent in the woods oh and we're like God. okay this is the last time we're going to be in a tent like it was inspiring us to get the van and then we finally found this van we're like okay this is it you know and we built it to just be full-time van lifers yeah. Yeah. and we really just wanted to travel yeah. and then after we finished this um, everybody started asking us to build them a van and we were so excited to do it because we realized like how it feels to actually be out and in this free, van yeah yeah be traveling and meeting the community the 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 people that we've met has just been absolutely amazing so we want to be able to introduce other people to do the same thing and just to experience that freedom and and be able to come and go as they please and not be stuck in one place to have a different backyard wherever they want it to be so um, it's just great we just love it Okay, so this is our wet bath and um, this is something that you know when we were deciding on what we were going to do in the van um, i definitely wanted a bathroom it's got the shower up here it's got a full shower head and then it's got over here we have this one so you can just rinse off if you need to okay so right here is our toilet we ended up going with this uh, thetford porta potty and this is a cassette toilet the bottom stores all your stuff and then you actually take the bottom part and you can take it to any toilet so we bounced around in the beginning with this um, with a composting toilet or you know different options and we ended up going with this one it just seemed easiest okay when we were building the van um this is was a passenger van so it has windows all the way around so because this the shower obviously you can't just have a huge window in here because um, you need some walls and you need it all to be waterproof and so but I didn't want it to just be um, a wall right because I hated covering up one of the windows so we compromised and Bobby put in this little porthole so the actual shower walls in here um, this is these are made for showers so they're a lightweight and so you just tile it like a floor and they they kind of interlock and then it's waterproof so these things are great we put these in, in all of our van builds because they're super easy to work with and they're super lightweight um, and then it's a, just a regular shower pan at the bottom and then we actually um, the bottom of this toilet has a locking system that's bolted into the floor 
So that way, if you turn a corner again, you know, the uh, toilet won't go flying because we actually had that happen. And that is not fun. <laughs> so we ended up getting that locking system and um, now it stays in place, which is good. Okay, so this wall right here. Um, so when Bobby was building the van, um, he was building it so we could go on the road full time. That was the goal. And um, in 2017, um, I had a, my son Hudson passed away. And um, this is his guitar replica. So when we were planning on being full time, I said, I can't leave his guitar behind. So um, we cut this out and traced his actual guitar. And the, the goal was to put the guitar in here and bring it with us on the road and maybe even learn to play it <laughs> because he was a musician, but we are not. So um, anyways, so we did it, had it ready to go full time. And then we just got busy building vans and, and doing everything else where we didn't go full time. And so we ended up taking the piece of wood that was cut and I actually did the resin on here. And then we just inserted this in here and we put uh, LED lights in the back. So at night it lights up. So this is like my little, um, like having my son on the road with us. So this is something that's, this is our special little wall. And it, it was crazy because while he was building this whole area, um, I had a dream the night before and I came down in the morning and I was like, oh my gosh, I had this dream that Hudson's guitar was mounted in the van and it was right here and in my dream, it folded down, it made a table, like did all this stuff, which I'm still, I still haven't given up on that. But when I came, when I told him, he was like, well, I already built this wall. It won't fit. And the wall was like to here. So the guitar wouldn't fit. And I was like, well, just make it bigger. And he's like, but it's done. It's like done. <laughs> like, no, I, I think you can do it. And then I literally like, okay, bye. And I went back inside. And then like an hour later, I walked back out and he's like, I did it. I made the wall bigger, which ended up perfect because the wall actually blocks the toilet. So you have like this little wall in front of the toilet where, you know, no one can see you. So it ended up like, again, a perfect accident. And then it just became like this special thing. And it's funny because when people come into the van, some people are drawn to it. They're like, what's the guitar? I love the guitar. What's the story behind the guitar? And some people come in the van, they don't even notice it. And like, they just look right by, they're just like, oh, that's cool. Right. But the people that ask are always the people that are like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I lost a son too. Or I, you know, they like it resonates with them. And then it's this conversation piece and we end up having these like really um, intimate conversations with a total stranger because of the guitar. So it's, it's been a really cool addition to the van. If we do sell this one, we'll probably take it, take this out and maybe even use it as a mount um, in the house for his actual guitar, make a guitar mount. But, or maybe like some rock star will buy the van and their guitar will fit right in here. I don't know, but either way, it's like a super special place for me. It makes me happy, so. I mean, we wanna have the van, I don't know about full time, because even though we love it and it's super fun, like sleeping in the van, every night and then getting ready in the van, eating in the van, tell all that. Things. It gets a little cramped, you know, and then, <laughs> but it's funny because we still have a home base yeah. and we like, we get back home and we're like, oh, we're back home. You know, it's like, even though the van is small and you're in this little space and you know, you're cramped like that and then you get home and you have this house, a two story house, but then we're like, Oh, we're home. I, we're kind of bummed, but yeah, then we I, end up eating dinner in the van in the driveway yeah, when we get, we don't even go in and eat. Yeah. We eat in the van and then we're kind of bummed out for like a day that we're yeah. actually st almost feel stuck again. I, you know, I, I think this trip for us is going to be kind of a real indication of that. You know, this will be the longest time we've been on the road uh, over a month is probably going to be. So we're really going to see and get a taste of what it's really like to be on the road and be traveling, you know, for an extended period of time. So that'll kind of in, 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 indicate, I guess, where we're going to be and how long it's actually going to be. Um, I think van life will always be a part of it, especially because of the, the, the people that we've met and the um, interaction that we have with people. And we definitely want to be able to travel to go meet them and having the 
van to be able to do that with is just perfect. I think one of the things for us is that we really love about this is that, you know, um, we've done some traveling uh, where we've had to fly in, you have to rent a car, then you have to find a place to live. We, we actually were contemplating that and going back east to see her daughter and we just decided, you know what, we've got the van, why don't we just drive the van back there, that's what it's for. Yeah. See the sights on the way and, and stay in the van and do it we actually intended to do. So, right. Yeah. yeah, but you know, a lot of people are like, oh, you're driving that far? And we're like, yeah, we got our house. We got everything we need. Yeah. We can sleep when we want. We can eat when we want. Yeah. Go to the bathroom when we want. Yeah. Like flying, flying and actually getting a place and renting a car, that just seems like so much oh work. Gosh, yeah. It's easier just to hop in the van, throw your stuff in and go, yeah. you know, so. Okay, let me tell you about the the back of the van. This is uh, actually where we've put our king size bed. Um, when we were figuring out what we wanted to do in the van, you know, a couple of our our top three things were um, one, we wanted a king size bed. Um, we didn't want to be crawling over each other to get out to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, so uh, we wanted a big bed in here. So we've kind of designed the the back of this van with that in mind. We, we've done a bit of a process on it. When we originally built this, it was built out with a bigger table in it, and we would um, tear it down every day after we got out of the bed and set the big table up inside of it, and then put the cushions all around and everything else but we got to a point where we were tired of making the bed every day so what we ended up doing was cutting the table down making a smaller table cutting the cushions down making them a little bit smaller so that we could keep the bed made up you know uh, most of the time and then all we have to do is drop the table down pull the cushions in pull the the rest of the bedding over and we've got a king size bed back here so that was one of the key issues that we wanted in the in the van where we were doing this so the window coverings are uh, another thing that we did we've got because this was a passenger van because there's windows all the way around we got a lot of heat and cool loss through the windows so we ended up putting um, the window coverings that are on here they're made of reflectix and she wanted them to look homey so she actually put the, the fabric on it made them look like curtains on the inside so that's what we use to help regulate the heat inside the van here so we've got those in all the windows around here in the back of the van I ended up putting two outlets a lot of times when we're sleeping we want to plug the phones in so we can actually do that turn the inverter on plug our our phones into the the um, 12 volt jacks in the back um, and then we also have 110 back there if we want to plug anything else in from the outside of the van uh, from there as well this here above the bed we wanted to have some ventilation so we ended up putting the max air fan in um, which is really great uh, we can actually pull cool air in in the evening um, or suck the hot air out and uh, kind of regulate the heat through the max air fan so that was kind of one of the things we wanted but underneath the bed here is we have our storage so we've got actually got a couple of paddle boards down that are that are underneath here so anything extra that we're hauling usually goes underneath this which works out really good because we've got the bed partially made up um, so we can actually use the bottom part of this for storage as well so that's where we got our storage one of the things we really wanted to because we, we we actually designed this to be on the road full time we want as much storage as possible so we created these upper storage bins here we've got um this is my clothes on this side we've got uh, some towels and things back here chris gets both of these on this side over here um, and then uh, the, another back one here for some bedding and other stuff back there but um, uh, one of the things that uh, she did and uh, is that that, um, you know, she wanted a, a little bit of decorative features on these cabinets, and I think she may have mentioned that and talked to you about that. But um, these um, was her first attempt at uh, at the jigsaw. She did a fantastic job, but she wanted to show kind of a, a part of what you know. We love sunsets, we love sunrises, and so on both of these, um, we've got a little bit of both. We've got the sun on one side and uh, the the moon on the other side, and you got night and day um, going in the back here, so which is really cool. So we've kind of got this as, as a part of this is a part of our story. You know, when we were building this van, a lot of love went into this and what um, our relationship was all about so we wanted to be able to share some of that too and in, in in the van well as well okay so on the outside of the the, the van here as we open up our door um, this piece right here will eventually be a table that was kind of what the goal was to sit with that we set out and putting this here it was also our first attempt at resin art so um, we wanted to figure out um, how to do the countertop so this was our first piece um, it was actually a pine piece and uh, just recently Chris uh, has done the epoxy all over again change this out but eventually what we'll have is a um, a uh, piano hinge on the bottom of this and this will fold down and become a table right out here so we can be able to do our our cooking or whatever else we want out here um, 
Um, this was originally going to be a shoe storage bin down here, but it ended up being for our tools because I don't have a garage in the back. This is the only place really I've got to store the tools that I can take with us if we need anything. Underneath here too, and I don't know if she's mentioned that too, um, we've got a five gallon uh, gray water tank that sits underneath here. And I've set up both of our gray water tanks to be able to be drained just by the push of a button, depending on where we are, if we're in a field or whatever. We push the button, drain the, drain the tanks and clean them all out right there. So that's it. We uh, just recently, a new addition to the side of the van here is um, the umbrella. Um, we kind of wanted to do a awning on there, but we went back and forth. They're extremely expensive. So we decided not to spend the big bucks on the, the permanent awning. And so Chris was online, found this on Amazon, and it was perfect for what we wanted to do here. Uh, at least have a little bit of shade on the outside um, when we have the doors open. And this thing's got a little solar panel on the top of it. We've got LED lights underneath here. So it's really cool at nighttime. You get a little illumination going on here. So, and it does shade the, the door from sun, direct sunlight coming into the van. So we love it. Okay, so here we are. This is our garage. <laughs> Well, not so much. This is the garage here. Um, in the back of the van here, one of the first, I guess, one of the very first things that we decided on, uh, okay, Chris decided on, she needed a magical bench in the back of the van. And so um, I had to work that out to make this, this happen for her. It was uh, one of those processes where I scratched my head an awful lot to try and make it work. But this is what we ended up with here. So um, we popped this out here put that up there we got a little blanket that sits on top of here and a pillow that, that goes on here and this becomes um, our magical bench so this was really kind of a cool feature we got some video of this when we first built it and it was really exciting uh, but it was really kind of a heartfelt thing for us we've got a heart in this but I wanted to do something special for her and, and to make this happen so um, she wanted it so she got it we do have a couple of other dra storage drawers in here where we keep our hoses and the electrical cores and that kind of stuff as you can see they're very thin there's not a lot of stuff to be able to store back here but uh, we get a, a little bit of stuff there. And then the other part is here. Let me tell you about this. This is the sunshine. We love the sun. Um, it's kind of a, uh, a theme for Chris and just her, her heart of having the sunshine and, uh, and her son as well. Um, but um, we originally cut a piece out of, the, uh, of pine and we uh, epoxied it but it was our, another one of our first attempts at epoxy and the epoxy did not set up. So it was always a little sticky and tacky. So we had to change that out. We had a love sign on here for a while, but we still wanted the sun on here. And this was a, uh, a recent uh, feature that we added to it and just love how it turned out with the white. Underneath there's our, 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 our garage. Everything else gets shoved in there. Another thing we did was, um, we wanted an outdoor uh, shower, so we went ahead and plumbed it for the back for an outdoor shower, so we can actually plug the Quick Fit Connect Fit in here. We can we can rinse off out here, rinse our shoes off, rinse the bikes off, do whatever we want from the back of the van, which is really cool as well. Uh, we've got uh, um, 300 watts of solar on top, uh, three panels up there. We originally started with 200 watts of solar. I found that that wasn't quite enough. Part of the problem for us was that we had the factory um, air conditioning up there with the max air fan. We were really limited on the space that we could actually put the solar panels up there. So whatever space we got up there, we were able to put the panels up there. So we got three 100 watt panels um, on the top of this thing to um, uh, power our batteries. We got two AGM batteries, uh, another one of those pros and cons. I would not recommend using AGM batteries. We just bought lithium batteries. We're getting ready to, to change those out. I've got two AGM um, 100 amp hour batteries, um, just not enough to really power what we're doing here. So we're going to bump that up to two uh, 200 amp hour lithium batteries to, to actually run the whole system in here. So you can find us on Instagram. Our Instagram is happily traveling ever after. All one word. We started our Instagram because our goal was just to travel. Yeah. We're just going to travel and document all of our travels and so we remember our trips. And then we start building vans and we didn't want to change our Instagram. So it's our company is called Bougie Builds. So it's B-O-U-J-E-E -E, Builds. And that name came because everybody kept calling us Bougie because of our van. <laughs> and because we got the black Mercedes and which was probably cheaper than most vans. Absolutely, we got yeah. a steal on this van. And then it's all white inside. So people kept saying, oh, you're so bougie in your Mercedes. So it just kind of started turning into a thing. And then people are like, we're too bougie to stay in a van. And we're like, his daughter said that, oh, my boyfriend's too bougie to be in a van. And we're like, no, this is bougie. Yes. So we're like, well, if we make it bougie, then people that wouldn't normally do it may actually want to do it. Yeah. 
Um, so on Facebook, we have a page, Bougie Builds, um, on our Facebook. And then our Instagram, I said, and then YouTube is also Happily Traveling Ever After. Well, thanks for coming and checking out our van. Uh, we love talking about this and it means so much to us, all the love that we put in this van. Absolutely. He worked so hard to, you know, make all of my crazy dreams come true. And now we tell other people, you know, if you can dream it, we can build it. That's kind of become our slogan because he can literally build anything. And if your imagination can come up with this, we've had people ask for all different things. And at first he's like, no, I don't think so. And then he's like, okay, yeah, I can do that. Yeah. So it's really been awesome. So thanks for touring our van. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. If you're on the fence, you don't know what van life is, make sure you hook up with us. Ask any questions that you have. We'd be more than happy to, to talk to you about uh, our experiences and what we've been through and just uh, help point you in the right direction. So thanks again for stopping by. Yeah, and we'll see you on the road. That's it.